Saturday night, Game 2 of the Interior Conference Final. V's and Silverbacks at the SEC and Penticton out of the gate flying. 42 seconds into the game. Brett Morvick from Idar Suniev on a mini 2 on 0 after the two Silverback defensemen collide at center. Morvick's seventh of the postseason on the second shift of the game. V's an early start for the second straight night. Up 1-0 over Salmon Arm. And it did not slow down. Not long after, three minutes into the period, it's 2-0. The Nadeau brothers, Bradley, over to Josh, into the back of the net. Great play on the back check by the top line to start it in their own end. Bradley sets up brother Josh as he wires it in at 3.05 for his eighth. That made it 2 nothing. Penticton. One more look here as Bradley sends it across. Josh into an open net as that was his first of two in the period. As it kept coming, this time a turnover. Tinling, sweet little drop pass, and Bradley on a silver platter per brother, Josh. As that was a gift for Josh on the one-timer for goal number nine at 527. Quickly, 3 nothing. Penticton, five and a half gone in the first as they were off and running yet again for the second straight night. Salmon Arm had an answer in that first period as Hayden Stavrov scoring just over a minute later at 6.47 as he finds the corner from a tight angle. That made it a 3-1 game as the Silverbacks had some life. One more look at it from behind the net. He wired that short side past Luca DePasco's stick. But the V's four check causing more problems. Great play by Frank Jurasevich to step up and intercept as he dishes over to Bradley Nadeau as he scores his first of two of the night at 13.51. That made it 4-1 Penticton in the back half of the first period. Great play by Jurasevich. You'll see him here one more time. Pick off that pass intended for Stavrov and then slide it to a wide open Bradley who had a gaping net to shoot at. That made it 4-1 for the V's in that first. Had a couple more looks in that first period as well. And into the second. Matt Tubbo for the second straight night. Busy goaltender for Salmon Arm. As the V's were barreling down on his crease throughout this one. As the V's did pick up where they left off. As in the second period, they were buzzing. But Tubble was key to keep it a 4-1 game. As he made some timely saves. Here's a one-timer that was denied. As Bradley thought he had his second in the game. And soon after, Nathan Mackey, the Silverbacks captain, wires it off the faceoff. And all of a sudden... It's a 4-2 to two game with 8 minutes gone in the second period. As you see it right there, the puck came right to him off the faceoff. And that made it a 4-2 game. And then shortly after, Isaac Lambert almost made it a one-goal game. But a great save by Luca DePasco. That was key because the Vs went back to the power play. And midway through that period, what a shot by Bradley Nadeau, his second of the night. Look at it here. Unbelievable and unstoppable there at 10.30. That made it a 5-1 game, or 5-2, I should say. Bradley's 14th of the postseason as he wired that home from his office on the left wing. Big goal there to give the V some breathing room. And they weren't done either. They were buzzing the tower, so to speak, with Matthew Tubble all night long. And Ider Sunyev late in the second picked off that puck, almost scored his first of the night. But the V's do get one more in the third on the power play that carried over from the second. Half a minute in, fresh ice. Dovar Tinling tips in that pass from Josh Nadeau. 29 seconds into the third. That makes it 6 2 for the V's. Dovar's third point of the night. As Penticton up comfortably. Carter Richardson came in after that sixth goal and played the final 18 and a half minutes, making his playoff debut for Salmon Arm. Luca, a close call there playing the puck, but the post bailed him out. Big stop here by Carter Richardson. Good for that 17 year old in his first BCHL playoff experience, making a breakaway save off Thomas Pichette. But the story is Penticton. They continue to roll 25 wins in a row, undefeated in the playoffs. 6 2 final as they roll on and have a 2 0 series lead. The highlights brought to you by the Penticton Herald.